And it begins in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Enjoy the M&P experience. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matthew Makovich. I am 34 years old, born and raised in the southwest side of Chicago, Illinois. I have a beautiful wife named Bridget, two healthy, happy baby boys by the name of Benjamin and Baby Will Will. I enjoy a good pro wrestling match. I love watching reruns of the Golden Girls, and I love pigging out on some Jays barbecue chips. I'm so excited to be here today with each and every one of you. And now it is my privilege to introduce to you the man to my side, Mr. Phil Januszewski. Ladies and gentlemen, so good to meet each and every one of you. As Matt said, I am Phil Januszewski, super excited to be presenting to each and every one of you today. I'm 37 years old. I live in the southwest suburbs of Chicago, known as Woodridge, Illinois. I have a beautiful wife and two happy, healthy children that I am thrilled to spend a lot of time with, especially right now. I love fitness. I love cooking. I love lifelong learning. I love reading those corny, cheesy self-improvement books and then sharing it out and hoping someone else will borrow the book so that I can talk about it and have my own little secret book club. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure and privilege to see each and every one of you. And we can't wait to jump into what we like to call being an unstoppable leader. So each and every one of you, yeah, you, I'm looking at you. And you, oh yeah, you in the back, I'm looking at you too. Each and every one of you are what we call an unstoppable leader. You are here for a reason. You are here because you are the type of individual that rises to the occasion. You're the type of individual who steps up to the plate when people need it the most. You have attributes, you have characteristics that set you aside from the rest. We are excited today to not only celebrate you, but work with you and remind you how incredible and unstoppable you actually are. But in order to kind of get this party started, Bill, would you mind going over some of the key points that we'll be chatting about? Matt, thank you so much for bringing that up. Before you can truly be an unstoppable leader in that, don't you dare forget about your beautiful little self. And that's what Matt and I like to talk about. We're gonna hit that slide and what you're gonna see is that there are some very important keys to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. Matt and I love to call this part of our recipe, the things we strive for and thrive on every single day so that we can take care of our foundation. Because when we are good, we are able to be good to others. So huge questions you gotta be asking yourself. What about your sleeping habits? Are you getting those eight hours of sleep as often as you can? What about those delicious eating habits? Besides Matt's Barbecue Jay's potato chips that he's binging on every once in a while for his cheat day. Oh, you know I love those chips. Whatever it is, are we doing it in a healthy way? Because the fuel we put into our body allows us to act a certain way each and every day. An important part as well is thinking about, are you feeling clean and presentable? Now more than ever, we have some days that can be completely different than what we've used to have. But you know what? When we are feeling clean, presentable, getting up in the morning, getting dressed, getting in the routine, I'm telling you, it sets the tone for your day and a mental outlook that allows you to pursue that day with some positive energy and focus. Another couple things we got to think about is always, are we being active? Are we getting that exercise? Something Matt and I pride ourselves on is holding each other accountable. Are we being physically active in a way that's pushing our heart, 
pushing our brain and releasing those endorphins into our body so that we can have that, that, that good feeling that we accomplished something. And, and one of the most important things, too, is looking at our support systems. Are we talking with family? Are we leaning on friends? Are we finding outlets, even if it's on media or that, that are positive and healthy, that are reiterating good choices in our life, but also energizing choices? When you decide and make the decision to take care of yourself, you become that unstoppable leader for yourself first, but then that can lead to becoming an unstoppable leader for others, which is the best part. Taking care of you is great, but being able to lift up other people and make their lives even better, that's what Matt and I love and thrive on. And most importantly, stay healthy and happy. When you can take care of yourself, you make more room and time in your life to be able to take care of others. And that's what life's all about. But we could tell you this till we're blue in the face that you're amazing, that you're unstoppable, but it all starts with believing in yourself. So the very first activity that we're gonna hop right into is something that M&P like to call the unstoppable gut check step up. Now the purpose of this activity, ladies and gentlemen, is for you. And when you have those days when you might be down in the dumps, ugh, oh, today's the worst. When you feel like if the world is on your back, you don't know how you can muster the energy to do something or to step up to the plate. Oh, I'm just so tired. This very activity is going to be there for you at all times as a gentle reminder, a gut check reminder to let you know that you are absolutely unstoppable. For those of you who have access to a cell phone and who are able to take video of yourself in a selfie format, I would encourage you to do so at this time. For those of you who do not have access to a cell phone to record because you're watching us on your cell phone, <laughs> We need you to promise us that as soon as this presentation is over, you will participate in this activity so you can always have a memory as to why you are absolutely unstoppable. Okay, man. I promise. Step one, I will need you to take that cell phone. Step two, I will need you to go to the video format. And step three, I will need you to hit the record button. And step four, I will need you to repeat after me. I state your name. I Phil Janiszewski. Am completely unstoppable. Am completely unstoppable. There is nothing I cannot handle. There is nothing I cannot handle. If days are down, they could only go up. If days are down, they can only go up. I am strong. I am strong. I am fearless. I am fearless. And I am absolutely unstoppable. And I am absolutely unstoppable. Thank you so much for participating, ladies and gentlemen. Use these videos on those days when you need it. It's a reminder, if you yourself do not believe in your heart of hearts that you are an unstoppable leader, then those roadblocks will look even bigger. Then those obstacles will look even larger. So always remember to take care of number one and believe in the fact that you are a leader. I like that, Matt. I think I'm gonna watch that maybe every other day, just a little pump up video for myself. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Unstoppable. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. We're hitting that slide, my friends. And what we're looking at is three important things. Once you take care of yourself and your foundation, and of course, you've got your gut check video here to remind you of that. And hopefully you got to do that. But if you have confidence, if you show extreme positive energy, and if you have an all-inclusive mentality for your group, whatever it is, those three things Matt and I have found personally make a huge impact on whatever you're doing, whether it's running a meeting, whether it's running some type of retreat or some type of community service, those three things have a huge impact on the success of the group, Matt. Absolutely, Phil. And you got to take care of number one. You have to focus on those foundational things. And when you do that, only good things will happen. But it all starts with looking in the mirror and realizing what you have to do to step up to the plate. That's right. That's why we want to take a quick second for a little self-reflection here. If you have yourself a pen, pencil, or something, we're gonna need you to do a very quick activity 
we like to call the positive pitch. But well, what it is, is going to be focusing on three words that you think will describe you as a leader. Pen or pencil or crayon, we need you oh. to write down three words that describe you. It's not just any three words, three words that describe you as a leader, what would they be? We want you to write those down, three words that you are proud of that describe you as a leader. Now, Matt, for you as a leader, give me one word that you think would describe you. I would say encouraging, Phil. I love being that supporting cast member who will not only run off with those ideas that are put out there, but I wanna make those around me even better. Give them the praise, encourage good ideas. And I feel like every team needs that. And I feel like that's kind of a unique skill for a leader, but something I take great pride in. How about you? Yeah, I would say for me being a leader, I think it would be energetic. I would try to be that positive like cheerleader that's like we've got this we're good anybody need anything but i'm trying to inject energy in, into it and by doing that hopefully energizing others so that we can have fun with whatever it is we're tackling so with that in mind think of three words that describe you we're going to put that clock on and go ahead and write those words right now Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for participating. But now, Phil, with the positive pitch, though, you are strongly encouraging people to actually put some of their uh, words of self-reflection in the comments section of whatever social media outlet they're on. Is that correct? Yeah, whatever you guys are hearing right now, go and throw those comments. Sauce them if you like. And man, I, I want to like check them out and kind of interact with you guys later after the presentation. We'd love to see the things that you're proud of because knowing what you're proud of inspires us to also push ourselves as well. So don't be shy and make sure you throw out those comments. We'll be looking at them later. As Phil said, though, when we self-reflect and figure out those attributes that we really take great pride in, that self-recognition piece really helps build up confidence. We're not talking about arrogance. We're not talking about egos. But we're talking about the people who could, with confidence, they could communicate clearly. On top of that, they could jump on opportunities for growth to lift up and praise others. As I was speaking on earlier, Phil, I love the fact that a truly confident person can not only lift up a team, but point out individual characteristics of their peers or of their classmates or teammates and let them know what they're doing right. People need that affirmation, Phil, and that's why those leaders are around, to give that affirmation. And another aspect of being a leader, Phil, that we love to observe is the mm -hmm. fact when somebody could step up and say when something went wrong, that it was their fault, that they own it, they swallow it, they flush it, they get rid of it. Honey, I'm sorry it was me. I left the refrigerator open overnight. So many people are afraid to admit that, hey, I didn't know the answer to this, or I did something wrong that maybe resulted in the team having a negative outcome. But those truly unstoppable leaders are the ones who could step up and own it and say, hey, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Things fell through. And that's such an important piece of developing as a leader, developing as an adult. And those are some things that we like to focus on. And owning it takes complete confidence because, you know, you have to show that occasionally you're wrong and that's a weakness. Now, we want to come back after Matt went through all of those things of how you can display confidence and think back to those three words. The reason we called those three words the positive pitch is because if someone asked you at an interview, if you have those three attributes that you can bring up proudly and confidently talk about, think about the way the image that you're giving off during that interview, things that you should be proud of. I think I'm completely qualified for this position because I'm confident, consistent, and charismatic. And I'd love to elaborate a little more on each of those. Also, something we want you to focus on is during these unique times, okay, we want you to still make sure you are growing and getting even better at those three things that you are proud of. There's no excuses as an unstoppable leader. There's always a way to continue to grow. So keep that in mind. Those three words we wrote down are powerful. and We want you to be that goal for the next 10 weeks or so that you continue to grow and develop in those. When anyone ever asks you, why should you run this group? Why do you think you can handle this? Those three things are your ammo. 
your support to remind yourself and others that you are truly unstoppable. And if you ever need a little pick-me-up, always go back to that gut check reminder. Play that video. Remind yourself why you look good, why you feel good, and why you bring so much dynamic energy to small groups, to events, and to retreats. Never forget that. Yeah, that's right. I like that, Matt. We talked about confidence, and confidence is important because, honestly, no matter what age, and we're not just talking to young adults, we're talking to adults as well. Being insecure sometimes and self-conscious can totally dim your light in leadership, but being confident in yourself can take you to the next level. And more importantly, not just you, but can take your group to the next level. And that's what leadership is about. It's not about just us, right? It's not about me, the individual. It's about the whole group. So continue to grow with that. But now that we've talked about confidence, we're on to the next big thing. And that is extreme positive energy. Again, once you're confident and you're working in that group, you got to take it to the next level with the energy to keep that group rolling. So when we bring up extreme positive energy, Matt, I think we get to what the world is currently going through and what our amazing viewers right now are doing. We're, we're interacting virtually, but virtually is a little bit different, but we still got to send those good leadership vibes. So tell me about that. Well, this is a perfect segue into our next activity in which we call M&P's Zoom etiquette all right now phil in the world of the zoom it's kind of hard to portray that extreme positive energy through a little phone screen or through a computer yeah. monitor but my goodness what we can control is how we carry ourselves how we look what type of energy we're putting out there and never forget that in the world of the zoom there are always eyes <laughs> watching you so the first activity that we're going to talk about, Phil, is what we call your, your virtual meeting greeting. Uh -huh. When the Zoom participants are all piling into a room, you click on that little link. Maybe you have to put in the account number, put in the password, all that fun stuff. Then you see those little dots connecting to audio, and you know things are getting real, and they're getting real soon. So what happens is when that screen comes on, how are you portraying yourself? What is your backdrop? What is your posture? How are you entering into a Zoom? So, Phil, if you don't mind, we could maybe bounce back and forth with just some examples of maybe what we could do and maybe what we shouldn't do. Okay. So the first I topic like that. that maybe we could talk about is your best virtual meeting greeting. Here comes the Zoom. Everybody's in. So this is, for to, to clarify, this is where everybody's coming in the meeting and starting to just simply greet each other before the meeting starts. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The meeting is officially starting and uh, here I go. Oh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. Really excited to be here. I actually smiled and got excited watching your greeting. And I think humans, we mirror other people's emotions. So if you're coming in hot with, with being happy and positive, I think others have a hard time not being positive. So excellent. I like that. It's simple. And I mean, there is an alternative, though, to the positive entrance. You know, I mm. like going over the top. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Thanks so much for having me. But then we have the other side of the coin. Bill, would you demonstrate maybe some of the Zoom entrances that you've seen that have stuck yeah. out, but not in a positive way? Some of them are just by the angle. And for those when they're coming in, it's like, oh, it's kind of up the nose, and it's just a little up close and personal. But okay. the one that really, the one that really brings me down, I like to call the sad and tired. Oh, and what no. it is is when they answered the like room's kind of dark, and they're not smiling, and they're barely on the screen, and they just look so tired, man. They look, oh, just so tired. They just look. They look like your your meeting is the worst idea that could possibly be happening right now. But why is it always with those types of situations with the blanket over the head, there's always a random dog or a cat that comes into the screen and just starts licking face. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the blanket. <laughs> we want you guys to keep that in mind as when you start entering those meetings, realize those eyes are on you immediately, which leads into the very next one then, Phil, knowing that in the Zoom, even though maybe somebody is the presenter or the host or the main speaker, 
you know that all eyes are on you no matter what. And as a leader, you have to accept the fact that people are going to be watching you as to what type of reaction you're going to give. Are you engaged? Are you not engaged? Are you caring about what's being said or are you not caring? Are you uh, checking the cell phone? The big thing I like to focus on, Phil, is my best active listening face. So what we're going to demonstrate right now, Phil, is I want you to uh, pretend that you're giving me some type of big lecture or some sort of presentation that I'm going to show you while being genuine, of course, but just showing that I'm being receptive to what you're saying. So just to recap on what you've been saying, as you're so kindly interacting with me, I see you nodding in that. Thank you. But the energy you give off and the kindness during the meeting is something that people can feed off of. And don't forget, during a Zoom meeting, people can click around and see you even if you're not the one talking. So as a leader, all eyes are on you, even when you don't think they are. Matt, and you showed you were being engaged and gave me energy and encouragement by nodding, smiling when I smiled, kind of mirroring some of the things, but that was supportive. This isn't being, you know, fake. We're not being, you know, disingenuous here. We just want people to know that you are supported and all in. And I think by simple nodding and being engaged, it can, it can make a big impact. Yeah, Bill, and if I were to ask you right now, if we were to like cut to a montage of terrible active listening faces, would you be able to throw some at me right now? Terrible active, yeah, yeah, sure. Ready? Yep. Scene. And how about the ones who don't know to look into the camera, but they're looking at the person on the screen? What, Ma? No, I don't want dinner yet. I'm on a call. Thank you so much for sharing. So very simple, but very powerful. Positive mental attitude and, and being consistently extremely positive is important. And now more than ever, when we don't have as much human connection through the virtual world, you know, you've got to show it in other unique ways. And being an unstoppable leader, you're, you don't stop. You find a way to go around that speed bump to make sure people feel supported, energized. You're still displaying your confidence as a leader. Because of that, you're making that team better. So an extremely positive person is enthusiastic with their communication. As Matt was demonstrating, he was supportive during a lecture. And then also uh, for body language as well, how your posture is and how positive you are is important. Are you consistently energetic? So whatever you're doing, you're trying to cheer on the team and then just enjoying the company and seeing each other and interacting is an important part of being extremely positive. So keep that in mind. Whether we're in person, whether we're interacting through a computer, being a leader is not easy because you always have to be on top of your A game. And there's always somebody else in that room who will be looking at you as an example. How are they responding? How are they carrying themselves? And it's not easy to always be on your tip top game, but it's something that's imperative because when you are on the tip top end of your game, great things will continue to happen. It makes you stronger. It makes you more charismatic. It makes you more confident in your decision making. And when you line up all those things in your life as a leader, great things are going to happen and you truly become unstoppable. And there is not one situation that you cannot handle when you put all those things together. And it all starts with three common things that we've been talking about since the very beginning. It comes down to confidence. It comes down to extreme positive energy. And most importantly, an all-inclusive mentality. And Phil, knowing you like I do, ever since the moment we first met, I knew that if you signed up for something or if you were involved in something, you would always be all in. There are no shortcuts. There is nothing less than 100%. So why do you feel right now, Phil, it is important for leaders to have an all-inclusive mentality? I feel like people, especially in virtual times here, can be a little isolated. So reaching out to those people, getting their opinions, drawing them into whatever it is your group is working towards, whatever that goal is, whatever their why is, by focusing on that and making everybody feel included and important, you as that leader can make that group so much, so much stronger. And that's what we want you to focus on now is how, what is your strength as a leader that allows others to want to work with you? 
because we all have a lot of great ideas. And for all of you leaders out there, there are things you want to accomplish. But one person is different than a group functioning and working well together. So having that all-inclusive mentality can be so life-changing. You create a network, you create a support system, you divide and conquer and together do so much more. So Matt, I want to play and spin the little game here for us. Sure. I want to talk about what is a song, an artist, a lyric, something with music that would describe your leadership style when working with others. Maybe we should think of some examples of what could what we could describe as a, a leader that's working with others. Matt, I'm thinking of one. A good leader is a good communicator. So I'm oh, going to do okay. a little Shaka Khan. Tell me something good. I like the uh, first one. one that came to mind that like instantly was Joe Cocker. Uh, feeling all right. I love that because it's talking about morale. It's talking about uh, boosting up other people. And obviously, if you know somebody's feeling all right, it's always going to be a trickle effect into your teammates and into your counterparts as well, Phil. So I thought that was a good one as well. And I was thinking of one that I'm, I would never want to be. Celine Dion. All by my... I, I don't think oh, that's sad. an all-inclusive mentality. Sad. I don't think that's kind of bring them back in with that face. So, but, mm. Okay, now, Phil, so now that we kind of gave a general idea about different songs that stood out to us about being unstoppable leaders, the good, the bad, the ugly, what would you like these participants to do in the comments section here to kind of encourage some conversation yeah. going forward? Yeah, I like that. If you guys could throw in the comments of whatever section you're listening to through social media, give us a song, a lyric, an artist, something, and kind of describe how that demonstrates what kind of leader you are, or a leader maybe you don't feel like becoming, right? Like Celine Dion all by myself. And now, Phil, what we're going to do is I'm going to put up about 20 seconds for them to finish this. Okay, hopefully you got those written down. We are anxious to see those in the comment sections and interact with you guys in just a little bit. But all about all-inclusive mentality, it really boils down to this. As a leader, we've got to be kind and supportive to everybody in the group. And by doing that, people feel welcome and energized and motivated to give all they have to whatever the common good is that you guys are working towards. We also want you to remember that when you're all-inclusive, you're open and inviting to others. So people do feel welcome. You're also the middle person. So you're bridging that communication by saying, hey, so-and-so mentioned this, and you've got that idea. Let's work together and make this happen. And I do think collaboration with others is so important, not just for getting a goal done, but for creating that important network. People that support you can inspire you to do so much more. And together, it's better. It's stronger. So keep that in mind. And most importantly, when you include others, it gives off your natural humble vibe that you need help and that you want help and support and together you can make anything happen so an unstoppable leader matt really has to be pride swallowing at times own up to their mistakes energetic it's kind of a tall order can you kind of recap on the main points and how this recipe to be unstoppable is it is it for everybody it isn't easy but you who are listening are looking for some self-growth and it is definitely doable and you are completely unstoppable. When you take care of yourself, whether it's emotionally, whether it's physically, whether it's nutritionally, guys, great things are, are bound to happen. And, and when great things are bound to happen, that means that your self-confidence is in check. It means that no matter what you sign up for, whether it's a club at school, an activity at school, whether it's a sport, whatever the case may be, make sure you could give 100% to it. And when you have that all-inclusive mentality, when you have that self-confidence, great things are going to happen. And when great things are happening, you need to exhibit that extreme positive energy. The world needs it, your organization and group 
they need it, your parents need it, your siblings need it, your guardian needs it. This world can never get enough of that extreme positive energy. And when times are down and when things are rough, who do we always look for? We look for those that are positive, for those that are standing up tall, for those who are doing things that they believe in, and those who are being positive additions to their communities and to their environments. So with that being said, we want you guys to remember that you are unstoppable, that you guys could handle absolutely anything in the world. When you have confidence, when you have positivity, and when you are all in on any objective or task that you sign up for, great things will happen. So on behalf of Matt and myself, Phil Januszewski, we want to say thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much for your thoughts and for your comments. And we look forward to interacting with you after this presentation. We cannot thank you enough for being here today. We cannot thank you enough for spending your valuable time with us. As always, we would love to have been in person with you guys to get to meet you and greet you and hang out with you guys. But please, let's utilize those comment boxes. Let's continue to stay in touch via social media. We are all over social media on different outlets. We want to hear about the wonderful things you're doing, and we want you to keep on going with that positive pitch. Keep it going. It's not a one-day thing. It is a lifestyle. It is a philosophy. Never forget how incredible you are. And more importantly, we hope you have a great day from your friends here at MMP Presentation.